right people of the web world welcome back in this tutorial where we will talk about promises in javascript with this awesome example of the famous dino game which comes up every time in google chrome when you go offline now a lot of people say that promises in javascript works exactly how they work in real life but um, i don't necessarily agree 100 percent with that because promises in javascript are fulfilled more compared to people yeah people often break promises but yeah keep on reminding me less philosophy and more code so let's check this game out first so yeah who does not know this game right um, this is a super cool game to play around when your internet is off so these games promises come up every time you are offline now let's check that in code how that works so i have this uh, promises.js file this is just a javascript file so the syntax of creating a promise is fairly simple and it goes like you put your promise inside a variable so let is your variable declaration and let's say book promise so yeah right before we jump onto the chrome dino game example we will look at the structure of promise and how can we initialize that with a book example so in this example we're talking about uh, promising to read a book and what happens if we if we don't so the variable name goes book promise which is equal to you now you declare your promise you say new promise and remember promise is an object which takes two arguments and they are resolve and reject so yeah in real life as well either you break the promise which is more often i am being a bit too harsh right anyways yeah so either you break it or you fulfill it so now how can we use resolve and reject inside it right um, that's fairly simple as well you just say resolve and inside that you can pass um, anything basically any message you can say awesome let's uh okay let's talk more about the book so result happens when you fulfill a promise and in our case we have fulfilled the promise to read a book so this code runs now let's see how your promise is initialized you give your promise name which is book promise dot then and inside then you pass our argument which is with this could be anything i have just named it as message and here you use a arrow function now if you don't know much about arrow function don't worry just go back to my javascript for beginner tutorial series and check it out there here you log you are just and your message all right so this is a promise now if we run this oh i was just listening to mike posner some good music out there so yeah you can see in the console it prints you are just awesome let's talk more about the book so where is this coming from we have no idea what's going on right so you can see this line has been printed saying you are just and your message which is coming from result which we spoke about is an argument of this promise object so these two are the arguments and this is the object now when result happens which is happening right now because there is no reject inside it there's only result which is sending this text inside result that result is being captured right inside our message so the message is coming here awesome let's talk more about the book right here now let's come to the interesting part and bring in rejection as well because yeah rejection also has to be handled so we will uh, declare a variable inside this which goes like reads now read books this is a boolean so it is a value of either true or false now if it's true so if read books is true we want to do something right read books is true that means our promise is being fulfilled which in javascript terms is being resolved so if read books is true resolved has to be run and you have to say awesome let's talk more about the book now else here you can use reject what if your read books is false so you can say you are missing a lot 
All right, so now we have added reject here, but we have not handled the catch here. So here you have to add the catch block, which is also more or less the same as then, but it, it handles the situation where your promise is rejected. So here we will log. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Did I start singing there? Oh God, what is wrong with me? So this is our full fledged promise. Now um, let's see what we've got here. Missing this after argument list. Um, that should be, should be here. Oh yeah, I haven't given the arrow to my arrow function. And also I'm not comparing here. I'm just assigning the value here with the assignment operator and not with the comparison. So double equal to is when you want to check what's the value and single equal to is assigning. So now if you check the console, it says, oh no, you are missing a lot. So that's happening because you see our variable is false. So the code is not going inside if it goes in if, if it's true, right? So the result is not being printed and it goes to the else part, which is reject. And it says you are missing a lot. Now this text is being passed into reject, which is here. And that reject is coming here inside of a catch message. And it's printing, oh no, you are missing a lot inside our console. So that clears our basics of promise. So now let's get rid of all this. I love to do this cleaning up my code and literally deleting it off. Now let's jump into the real deal of our Chrome game. So if I click a new tab and then I click on YouTube, the game should come up. Oh, I have to go offline first. Otherwise, it's just going to load me the page that I request for because I'm not actually offline. Um, so I'll manually go offline from my console and now hit on youtube.com and it throws me this game. Uh, what's your high score like? I bet it's less than 76. So Google Chrome promises us that it will launch this game for us every time we go offline and then request for a page. So two things are happening here. One, we should be offline and another, we should be requesting a page. Like if I just go back on this page and I am offline, as you can see here, doesn't mean that Google Chrome will throw that game right on my face. But if I request a page, that is when I click on a website or make some kind of request, this game comes up. So yeah, let's see how to do that. I'll increase font a bit. Yeah, this seems better. Here I will create a variable which says user clicked, which uh, we just spoke about comes up when user actually clicks right now we will create promises here so check network is equal to new promise and this object promise object takes resolve and reject like we saw earlier in the tutorial and with a arrow function we will write resolve user is offline so this is our first promise and we need one more promise here, which says is request made, which is also our promise does the same either resolves it or rejects it again, the arrow function. And here we have a condition has the user made a request by clicking on a website or not. So we say if user clicked is equal to is equal to true which means he has clicked it and requested a page resolve request made all right and now else we reject it and here you can um i would say request not made yet don't bring the dino game up all right so these are our two promises so one is resolved when the user is offline, which is definitely going to be true because we have no reject here. So this is true by default. And here we have a condition that if our user clicked is true, then it's resolved or it's rejected. Now let's call our promises. Promise dot now previously we write, we wrote then here, but here, we have multiple promises, so we will write all. 
it takes all the promises which you have defined above it like if you have 15 other promises it takes all of them inside this array here you write the promises that you want to evaluate so we will write the name of our promise which is check network and is request made so the important thing to note here is the sequence right now we have only two but if you have 10 promises the way you want those 10 promises to execute is very important so you should write which promise is called first and second and so on now here we write then if this is done um, then it takes a message uh, not this message as a parameter followed by arrow function and here we console lock our message which is coming from here plus bring the dino game up and if that's not the case if you are rejected then it says catch inside goes a message uh, inside goes a message then your arrow function and here we will write message plus oh the plus should be outside it plus oh no message plus user seems to be online all right i get this s to lowercase now let's check how this works if i go into the console of not youtube it says the user is offline and request request made and bring the dino game up but it's messed because um i need to add space here space here as well and now yeah user is offline request made bring the dino game up so these are the conditions when the dino game comes up right user and user is offline obviously and he has made a request not before that and yeah that's when it comes up now let's say our user has not made a request so if i make user clicked as false and now if we check in the browser it says reference error ah uh, something wrong reject is not defined all right um let's go to reject part and see okay yeah this is s which i should not be doing and now it says that request not made yet don't bring the dino game up now it's space here user seems to be offline so let's check why is that happening our user click variable is false and this promise is true in both the cases now inside our is request made promise result is only called if our user click is true so here user is not being called and reject comes up that's why this reject message is being sent here and this is printed the important thing to note here is we are using promise.all the then part will only be considered if all the promises which we have two so these both promises should be resolved here this is resolved but this is not resolved so it will not run the then code and it will go into the catch but you might face an instance where even if one of your promise runs you're good to go and you should run your expected code after your then so in that case you can write race promise dot race now if i save this you can see user is offline and bring the dino game up here though my user click is false and this is not being resolved the dino game would come up because i'm using promise dot race which goes inside the then block even if one out of all the promises is resolved and our check network promise is resolved by default now we know the logic behind this awesome dino game where they would have used a promise and they would be checking if the user is offline and also he has requested some page and at that time inside there then they would be bringing up this dino game so yeah that's about promises in javascript hope you learned something new from this video and if you like what we do subscribe 
and give me a comment uh, for your feel about the video. Thank you.